keeping it quiet. Uh. I pull up, you know I be moving. Whipping the four and I'm cruising. The money I'm speaking is fluent. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa. The Get Up Crew. Hot 969. And it's brought to you by D'Angelo. Grilled greatness awaits at D'Angelo with the mouth-watering steak number nine sandwich stacked with sizzling sirloin and melty cheese. Grillaluya. Chris. Hey. Hey, man. How can hey. we help you, sir? Uh, well, I'm, I'm calling in because I, I met this girl, uh, Chrissy, and we had a good couple of dates, and now I'm not uh, hearing anything back from her. Okay. What'd you do? I, I don't honestly. I, I, got I have no, no idea. idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard that one every single time. Right? Talk to I, mean, somebody. I, I know, but like, like this, this date went great. Like, you know, I was. Uh, hey, hey, hold I, on, I hold on, big... hold on. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Chris. It was amazing. Like, I was, right? I was charming. Mm. You know, I was debonair. We had a great time. We mm. laughed. Yeah. We had some drinks. She, you know, it, I, th- I definitely thought she would have gone out with me again because I didn't make any crazy mistakes. Gee, I wonder what happened. I, I just don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> is, is is that at all sound like anything you were gonna say? <laughs> like most of it, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. All right, so but it wasn't just drinks. This was uh, this was our third date in, and we uh, and I was like, I wanted to step it up a notch. Uh, and since I come from a big Italian family, I wanted to make her dinner at her place. Okay, well, all right, all right, all right, all right. And the food was good. She she was she was into the food. We had a we had a good night and. Uh, you know, here we are. All right, man. Well, you're a better man than me because I am not the cook you dinner type. <laughs> not even close. I'm not always. I'm not always, but I like this girl. So I got you. I, I got you. Step it up. You're in uh, order. You dinner. All right. Yeah. I'm oh kinda... yeah. I will pay for whatever you want. <laughs> Look at that menu. Don't think that any page is off limits. That's me. Um, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call Chrissy for you next. Try and get you another date. Okay. That's what I'm here for. All right, cool. Second date update on the 10th. Now back to the second date update on the 10th. With Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. All right, we just spoke to Chris. And uh, Chris, I'll tell you this right now. We're going to try and call this girl Chrissy for you. But if it doesn't work out, Melissa said she's willing to go on a date with you as long what? as you cook her <laughs> meal like you cooked Chrissy. Yeah, but can mine be lasagna? Can you make lasagna? I can make lasagna. Okay, he sounds can, good. You can make lasagna. There you go. My boy cooked her an Italian meal. And you are Italian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> she would have been like, what are you talking about? He's not even Italian. He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to call Chrissy now, so stay quiet. Hello? Is this Chrissy? Uh, yes, this is she. Oh. Perfect. Okay, Chrissy, please do not hang up the phone, okay? Because this is a good phone call. Um, it's Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. I can explain how we got your number. We got it from a guy, and this gentleman told us that he would love to take you out on a nice date. And the reason we're calling you is because whatever you would like to do for said date, and I'm going to tell you the guy's name. We will set it up. You tell us when. We'll set it up. We'll reserve everything. We'll pay for everything. And all you have to do is show up, and this gentleman will see if he can, um, you know, uh, sweep you off your feet. Uh, um, I'm sorry. I didn't sign up for anything, so I don't, I'm kind of surprised that I'm getting a call. Yeah. So, it, it, so yeah, it's not that you signed up. The, this guy called us up and gave us your number because he wants to. Uh, he wants to see if he can impress you. Are you single, by the way? I am. Okay. What, who, who, who gave you my number? So, now here's the good part about it. You know this guy and you like him already. You actually hung out with him a couple times. His name is Chris. Chris? <laughs> Chris called me and gave you guys my number. Yes. To see if I would go out on this, like, awesome date. <laughs> An awesome date of your choosing, whatever you would want to do. And here, can I just say, personally, that a couple named Chris and Chrissy, to me, is just so cute. I just think you're meant to be. And oh, gosh. <laughs> he told us how he cooked for you. I don't think he should cook for anyone ever again. It was probably the most mortifying experience I've ever had in my life. Oh. Aww. I, how can meatballs be mortifying? Well. <laughs> <laughs> so I invited him over for, you know, a date in because he said he was a good cook. And I figured, okay, you want to Let's see your cooking skills. Let's see your kitchen skills. And um, when he came by, I decided let's 
go walk my dog so that my dog doesn't interfere with our cooking and like timing issue, what have you. And, and she did her business and we came back in and I forgot to pick up her poop. So I asked him if he'd go outside and pick up her shit. I was taking out my trash the next morning and I opened the trash bin and I just looked down and there was a, like, a smushed dog turd just sitting there. I, like, it looked like it was squished with four fingers. Ugh. He made me meatballs with those same fingers. Hold on. He- oh, Jesus. Ew. Stop. Just, please, uh, Chrissy, I'm just going to stop you right there because I think, unless he hung up, Chris, uh, Chris, are you still there? Chris is on the phone, Chrissy. <laughs> Wait, Chris? you did you pick up dog <laughs> with your bare hands? No, like no, of course not. Who would do that? Like I, I didn't pick it up. Like, like not directly. Like I, like I scooped it, but like I didn't like pick it up and like you know hold it because. What'd you pick it up with? Um, his, his fingers. Yeah, I mean, look, I, like she, she went inside. She took the bags with her. I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't have the bags, and I wanted to, to get going. And like, I looked around for like a big leaf or something, and there wasn't anything. Oh Jesus! It wasn't like, so you picked up dog yeah. with your bare hands. I mean, yeah. And then you, you guys, made her food. Uh, after I, I washed my this. hands, it's not like I just went straight into it. I'm not a monster. Did you just run it under the water? Did you actually use soap? Did you clean under I, your nails? Like, there's soap. a lot you of questions. Use, you always use soap before you start cooking. I have a yellow lab. It wasn't like a little turd. It was. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Labs can so, poop pretty big. Chris, so you can confirm that your hands were completely clean of dog shit that you picked up with your bare hands before you started making her dinner. I mean, oh, they were pretty clean. Like, okay. like oh, yeah, probably, that's confidence. Like, like, probably mostly clean. Okay. You know? <laughs> Like, it's not like anybody... I, I couldn't taste it, and she didn't taste anything either, so... Oh, I'm, God. Like, Probably like, mostly clean. Right. And just because you can't see it, like, with your own eyes, does it mean there aren't remnants there, maybe under your fingernails, something? That's Chrissy. disgusting. Chrissy, how were the sh- meatballs and the sh- no! pizza you had? Oh. <laughs> like, honestly, if that's the secret ingredient, I don't... I can't. <laughs> I, I just... Yeah. So, hey, besides, like, listen, if we pay for a date, you guys will be going out to a nice restaurant, so you don't have to worry about... You know, Chris, you know, picking up dog shit and then making you nope. food. No? Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. No. Nope. I'm it sorry. It, it doesn't have to be dinner. Maybe you can go bowling. I don't think I don't think we're on the same wavelength. Well, look, excuse me for trying to be a gentleman and, and not, not bother you. <laughs> Tomorrow on the second date update on the 10. And the next time somebody smashes into your car, don't immediately get pissed off because that could be the start of L-O-V-A. That's how... Greg and Heather start dating for tomorrow's second date update on the 10. It's not why they're not dating right now. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. Listen at 810. With the get up crew, Romero, Pebbles, Melissa, and you, Hot 969.